In this session, we'd like to talk about the key components of the Cypress Systems wireless gauge reader system and the wireless uh, transducer reader system and how it could potentially connect to uh, legacy existing plant uh, automation systems or work as a standalone system. Here are the key components of the system and we'll start with the upper left hand corner with a wireless gauge reader and a wireless transducer reader. These devices are essentially field devices that capture gauge data or transducer reading data and then transmit them wirelessly. The readings are transmitted to the blue box uh, receiver and server on the right hand side of the picture. Um, essentially the uh, wireless uh, can go about uh, half a mile uh, in a single uh, hop uh, in line of sight uh, applications. If it's in a typical building or plant with a lot of uh, potentially interferences and so on, the uh, workable distance is about 200 feet uh, for a single hop. And we have uh, wireless range extenders uh, that can then repeat and extend the range further up to four hops. So the effective distance uh, with uh, wireless range extenders is about uh, 800 to 1,000 feet, which covers uh, for pretty much all, all the practical applications in, in uh, plant buildings and, and plants. The overall architecture is what we call a uh, hybrid uh, mesh network and it's hybrid because not all the nodes are repeating uh, routing nodes. Um, we conserve energy in the ones that are battery powered like the wireless gauge reader and a transducer reader and then put the heavy lifting on the power devices like the receiver and server to really uh, maximize the battery life and still get uh, reliable connectivity. The protocol is a proprietary protocol from Cypress Semiconductor that heritage is essentially from um, wireless keyboard and mice that's been made over the last uh, four years. So there's there's millions, uh, you know, over I think almost two million devices that, that are out there using this protocol over the past uh, few years. Uh, so it's a very proven, uh, robust system. Our implementation is one that's been optimized for industrial use with a longer range, uh, better noise immunity, and uh, better power management uh, for, for these uh, devices. Now if we turn our attention to the blue box uh, receiver and server itself uh, on the right hand side of the picture here, um, this uh, box is really much more than just a receiver. Uh, built into the box is a relational database that can store um, many years, up to five years uh, worth of data. Uh, there is a built-in uh, web server, built-in uh, trending package. So basically from any uh, PC that's connected to the same uh, LAN, you would be able to retrieve historical data. You would be able to plot graphs. Uh, you could set alarms. Uh, there's also a uh, remote notification feature where the blue box can uh, beep a cell phone or a pager or PDA. And uh, communications is actually two-way. Uh, from your cell phone, you can request the current readings from different uh, gauges or different transducers and uh, arm and disarm alarms and uh, get notification in, in cases of uh, excursions of uh, be above or below uh, accepted limits. Um, the blue box receiver itself also has uh, options for OPC connectivity, uh, also BACnet, and uh, sex gem for different industries. Uh, those are for you know industrial automation or backnet for building automation or sex gem for semiconductor. So basically once the data gets into the blue box uh, it could talk with uh, uh, multiple people whether it's uh, web browsers or cell phones or its existing uh, automation systems. Finally, uh, looking at the configuration tool at the bottom of the picture there, uh, this is a tool that we use to uh, calibrate uh, the uh, gauge readers and the transducer readers. We capture their friendly name, capture the node numbers, and uh, all the data stored in the configuration tool, including the calibration. And then when you bring the tool back to the blue box uh, server uh, and receiver, then all the data becomes synced and uh, there's no human error in terms of matching the different nodes and the and upper lower limits and the friendly name and so on with the database that resides on the uh, receiver and server. So let's talk uh, a bit about uh, how um, a plant operator or building manager can uh, implement uh, this kind of system in an existing uh, facility. Uh, we'll talk about two typical cases. Uh, on the right hand side 
what we call option C is a completely standalone system. These are for folks who say, well, my, my, my facility is pretty old. Uh, I, I either don't have an automation system or it's pretty clunky and I don't really want to integrate with it. There's too much hassles with the IT, with the programming, the less legacy stuff and so on. In this case, uh, uh, what we described earlier uh, is a standalone system, uh, the key components, the wireless gauge reader and the transducer readers uh, transmit to a blue box. Uh, the blue box uh, receiver in turn is connected to your plant LAN or intranet and then simply using any uh, PC browser um, like Internet Explorer or, or Mozilla Firefox, yeah, you can then uh, read the data, you can trend it, graph it, set alarms, and so on. And in addition to that, you can have uh, PDAs or cell phones or pagers that would then uh, communicate with the uh, blue box receiver to either request data or to receive notifications and alarms. Now on the other uh, end of the spectrum is uh, on the left hand side of the page is what we call option A is when customers have their own automation system and uh, they're happy with it. They Their users are trained on that. They have their existing displays and there's data points that are hooked up to that and you don't really want another system to train your people on. In this case uh, the wireless gauge readers and transducer readers send their information to a blue box and then the blue box is uh, again tie connected to the intranet, to the LAN, but then uh, it exposes the data through OPC uh, for industrial automation or BACnet for building automation or SexGem for uh, semiconductor applications where this data can then go into the existing plant automation system just looks like any other point. It's just uh, it's very cost effective and wireless uh, to to put in, and uh, then in turn this database can be set up your just like your existing plant automation system using your existing tools, existing human man interface, and and so on. So in summary, um, the uh, Cypress Systems uh, architecture has multiple ways to work with existing uh, systems, existing automation. Our whole philosophy is that we work in partnership with your existing uh, staff, your infrastructure, your software, so that we have the minimum amount of disruption, of retraining of people, of rewiring, of uh, uh, doing breaking seals and leak checking and so on. It's just a very easy way to get data from your existing plant into your existing uh, automation system if you have one or if you don't have one then uh, it's a standalone system that can give you much of the functionality to get you uh, visibility into your plant or site.